Welcome to Halloween Horror Month on Bloodbath and Beyond. Today we review Satan's Little Helper. The end gauge is making a comeback. Written and directed by Jeff Lieberman, Satan's Little Helper is about a young boy who's obsessed with the devil and ends up befriending him, but he turns out to be a serial killer. This movie stars Catherine Winnick, who we know from Vikings, and Amanda Plummer from Pulp Fiction. So what do we like about this movie? Uh, the main thing I liked about this film was the music. The score was amazing. <sighs> It was supposed to be pretty spooky a lot of the times, and it was. It was really cool. Yeah, they really nailed the point home with the Satan character, especially by having him be silent throughout the whole film, and you get a lot of standoff moments. The way that they build that up was very creepy. I was a little confused because I went into this movie thinking that a boy would befriend the real devil, and it's just gonna be like his imaginary friend. End up being the opposite, where it's like, we know right away it's a real guy, and this kid's just like oblivious, like he's in his own imaginary world. He was so involved in that video game that it became reality. Video games are the devil. No, it's the end gauge that is the devil. <laughs> they did have a nice transition shot when Alex was playing the end gauge. Are they surf ninjaing us? Like, is the end gauge the way to tell the future? And then as soon as you said that, ninjas appeared on the screen. <laughs> yeah, that was actually a really good shot. They did a lot of cool camera tricks like that. Almost like how you would see in a Hitchcock film, uh, especially with using the stairwell. There was a lot of nice dolly shots. Like, kind of just really made it seem like it wasn't your normal, like, low budget movie. Catherine Winnick, though sometimes that accent she was pulling off was not that believable. <laughs> Very terrible. Me Lord Satan. Wanna be feeling a wee bit frisky now, aren't ya? She was looking great as that slutty renaissance. And I thought it was really kind of awkward that she was checking herself in the mirror. Like, <laughs> she had not known she had fucking amazing tits and <laughs> sweet abs. So what were her favorite kills in this movie? He's dragging a body out of the house. He pulls him down some stairs and his head just fucking bam, 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 down all the stairs. We watched a commentary and it was certainly a real guy. And and it was done in 10 takes. I liked the grocery store scene. The grocer comes back and goes, hey, you stole my stuff. And then he just like leans over, grabs the uh, the knife that he just stole, and kills him with it, dumps in the dumpster. But then the kid jumps into the buggy, and they just cause mayhem in this parking lot. Slam into pregnant ladies, slam into baby carriages. Just It was so crazy, because the kid is like in his own world, like doesn't even realize that these are real people. He's just like, oh, let's all pretend. So my scene is right after Alex gets brutally beaten by Satan. Satan ends up putting him on a porch, and he's going to decorate him up everything and we see this little tiny black cat cute as a button with these big bulgy yellow eyes smash right into the wall and then he writes the word boo with the cat's blood. All right, what were our dislikes? I just thought it was gonna be a lot more crazy than it actually was. After the first like 10 minutes, nothing really happened for a long time. We had Satan walking around with the kid for a while. We didn't really see any gore other than like the cat's head getting smashed. We got a couple like practical effects with a knife and that was it. So I really expected a lot more from this movie. But yeah, it was really slow, like a lot really drawn out. I really enjoyed all the little scenes there was, but it just kind of, like an hour in, we're just like, when's it gonna end? Like, how are they going to wrap it up? I don't know, it's kind of, I don't know, I just wish it was maybe a little bit more faster paced. Because we, we got the idea, we get that he's like a crazy psycho and he's like really creepy, but there's maybe too many scenes. This dislike can also be seen as a like, because it's kind of a shout out to the director, uh, Jeff Liverman, for doing a really good job with creating the character of Douglas. Because I really hated Douglas and I hated everything he did. It was that kind of hate that gets you into the movie more, but I hated Douglas. I also disliked Douglas's mom. This kid was full of energy. He was full of surprises. Like, no, I, he was amazing for a child actor. Holy. No, I'm not <laughs> hating on the actual person. I'm hating on the character. No, I can hate this kid. You this can kid. keep hating and he's going to end up getting <laughs> Satan to kill you. And I didn't like the whole thing where she's all taped up, like completely taped up arms and like everything. And they're just like, oh, like you're like a mummy or something. Like no mummy is in clear tape for God's sakes. All right, boys. What were our final thoughts and ratings? Oh, that was a neat little movie. I liked the kid. I liked that his imagination just took control of him and... You didn't know what he was going to do. I really enjoyed the tie-ins I had. Like at the end, there was a surprise Jesus and the, the devil conflict, but then he ended up being both, which is kind of cool. I hated the flow, just really slow and confusing at some points, and some of it was really unneeded. But other than that, the movie was all right. I think it was funny at times, so I'd, I'd recommend it. I'm going to have to give this movie three and a half homies out of five. Nice. Very homie. 
Having this recommended like a bunch of times on our channel, I thought this was gonna be a lot better than it was. And I think I went in with high expectations. There wasn't a lot of on-screen kills. We didn't see like the loads of gore that I expected. There wasn't a lot of nudity. It wasn't as funny as I thought it would be. It was just kind of average. I, I, I wouldn't recommend watching this. I, I wouldn't watch this again. However, I will give this two and a half tender morsels out of five. This movie just kind of was mediocre. We didn't get to see a lot of kills, though there were a lot of deaths. The costume as Satan did look really cool, and I liked his character, how he was like staring at everyone and not saying anything, because it gave that creepy vibe. We had really cool cinematography, but it was really drawn out. So that being said, I'm going to give this film two and a half sniffing panties out of five. That's what we thought about the movie. If you've seen it, let us know in the comments below. Like this video if you liked our review, and sub to the channel to stay updated with our reviews and our games of What Would You Do? And don't forget to tweet at us at bloodbath underscore TV. Also, this was a request from RNR Horror Hunter. This is actually our fifth request ever. I've seen tons of you guys request this. <laughs> I don't know what you guys thought we would say about it. It's kind of weird. Request better movies. Thank you.